What's going on guys, this is Sam, and recently I've seen two incredible iOS 13 concepts, but I have not seen anybody else talk about them yet, so I have to share them with all of you today. They are so incredibly well done. First one is by Jacob Rendina, second one is by Jackson Swirsky. They're so good, they're so great. Let's go ahead and take a look at the first one right now. I love the text animation in this concept so much. It's incredibly well done. Jacob did just, I don't know, an amazing job with everything here. This is the next generation of iOS. I love like the clouds of red in the background. Oh, it's starting. It starts with a new home screen. We've heard that as a rumor for iOS 13. Lock apps for privacy. No way. That is such a good idea. That's something that we didn't even think to include in our iOS 12 concept, but locking apps is something that people have wanted to see pretty much forever, just because you might want your phone to be unlocked, but certain parts of your phone to be locked down. That customization would be really nice. We don't have that in any version of iOS ever. So maybe that'll be a part of iOS 13. Also, like the music here is so good, multitask like never before. Windows on the iPad, no way, that's so cool. And on the, they answered my next question, what about the iPhone? Hold on, I have to go back to that. So you 3D touch to open it in a window, you drag it around, I just saw calculator on the iPad, so that alone is super, super exciting. This looks like it is Safari and then maybe Maps. Yeah, Safari and Maps at the same time. I've never been huge on the idea of multitasking and I think it would be useful, but I also feel like it's one of those features that I never see anyone with Android actually using. Like it's always advertised as a feature for power users, but multitasking, fun fact, is actually technically impossible. Like the way your brain works, it can only do one thing at a time, but if you sequence it in a certain way, you can do things back and forth really quickly so it seems like you're multitasking. Quick little uh, psychology bit there. Um, but it's still a good idea to bring it to the iPhone. I feel like this would be so useful on the iPad and uh, maybe we'll see it on the iPhone with iOS 13 as well. But I think a big part of this concept is really trying to make the iPad more useful, like the big windows on an iPad. Um, the home screen itself looks relatively similar. We'll actually take a look at another concept after this. It does an incredible job of visualizing what a new home screen could look like in iOS 13, but still this is uh, a really good design here. And I like the idea of being able to put notes and having other big features limited just to the iPad. A new notes app is also here, like the new icon right there, lets you add notes right to the home screen. Okay, that's cool because I think there's actually a feature on Mac OS 10 right now, or I'm still calling it Mac OS 10, Mac OS right now, where you can pin notes to the desktop. I've never used it, but I definitely have a few friends that I have seen using the feature. I think it's called stickies or, or something like that. But having that on the iPhone, being able to at least have that customization to move apps around the home screen and highlight certain widgets or things that you want is something that Android's had for a long time. Now, this is an Android feature that I would love to see on the iPhone because it makes sense. You should be able to customize your home screen and make it look however you want your home screen to look, however you're feeling on a certain day. You can even add shortcuts to files, memories, music. Okay, you can add it to just about anything. Uh, looks like there's a ton of options here. You can customize the way things look. Oh, so it was showing shortcuts for folders or files or an animation that you have stored. That's really cool. I, I've watched this like three times now and I missed that the first couple times through. So on the home screen, you'd be able to like tap on um, a movie or something. Like you could have a shortcut right on the home screen. That's a really good idea. I've never actually really thought about that before. And introducing, we've got dark mode. Could this concept get any better? All right, it only shows the messages app. Oh, I really wish we got to look at more. And also a always on display. How satisfying is that animation? Probably too satisfying is the right answer, okay. There's so much here, I keep having to pause this and go back because that's exactly how we made our concept. That You have to pack so much into such a short amount of time, but it's really the small details that bring this concept and really any concept to life. So you slide over to get to your notification center just like you can on the Mac right now, only this is on the iPad, and control center is combined. Pretty good looking control center right there. Uh, you've got third party app integration as well. And multiple account support, another feature. I think I made a video two or three years ago now about multi-account support maybe coming because of something that leaked with iOS 9 or iOS 10. Still to this day, you cannot have multiple users on the iPad unless you set it up as like a school device. Out of the box, that'd be so nice. If you wanna get a family iPad that everybody's gonna use, you could add what users you wanted. Kinda of makes sense there. The music is also so important with any concept like this and uh, great song here. I could totally jam out to this all day. It's iOS Evolved, that's a good ending title. 
13. I was 13. Concept, uh, once again, by Jacob Rendina. Check out his stuff down below. This is not like a one-off thing. I assume he's gonna make more stuff in the future. Subscribe to his channel, watch this video, share this video so other people can see it. Really one of the best iOS concepts I've ever seen. Um, coming neck and neck with our iOS 12 concept. Like, I mean, our animation was also pretty insane. My friend Andrew Vega did that, but uh, still very, very well done. I love this. If Apple released this tomorrow, I would not be upset in any way. So, so many good features here. Next one though, also really, really good. This is by Jackson Swarski and it's called iOS Concept Bold and Fresh. Now this has even less views than the other one. I don't know why because it's also really, really incredible. What's so incredible about this concept though uh, by Jackson is that this was made exclusively on the iPad. I don't know how this was accomplished, but this was designed using Pixelmator, Affinity Photo, and an iPad with Apple Pencil. That's ridiculous. I've always kind of bashed the iPad, like it's not a computer replacement yet. I don't think I could figure out how to do this, but like this concept is so amazing because it was made entirely on iPad Pro, which is ridiculous. Bold and Fresh is a great title for this concept because that's seemingly where iOS is headed. Like with iOS 11 and 12, so many bold titles, so many bold and in your face parts of iOS, sort of like a punchy design, but I like it a lot. I'm a huge fan of how it looks. And this concept expands on that to show where iOS could head. I think if Apple continues this trend. So let's start first up, lock screen. I haven't looked at this close enough yet, but it looks basically like adding control center as the default lock screen rather than it just being entirely blank because especially on the iPad, how this is showcased, it just tells you the time and the date and not really anything else. Um, a lot of people have wanted like moving wallpapers for the lock screen and our iOS 12 concept, we did showcase a moving earth wallpaper, which would be so, so cool if Apple added that in the future. This just shows you your notifications right off the bat. You don't have to scroll or do any to get to them makes a lot of sense. I'd like to have easier access to that. Notifications in iCloud. Let's say you complete something on your Apple Watch, it will sync with all your devices. Like maybe you complete it on your Apple Watch, but you're using your iPads rather than your Apple Watch vibrating for you completing an activity challenge, it would show up on your iPad, just like this. Really good idea, I like that a lot. This is though what I wanted to show you right here, the redesigned home screen. We've heard this is gonna be happening. We don't know how it looks though. We have no idea if it's gonna be huge or small or somewhere in between. We just know that it is going to be redesigned with iOS 13. And this does a really great job of, I think, balancing the core functionality of what a home screen should do. It should allow you to get to things really quickly without a ton of knowledge of how to do it. Like you should just be able to tap on an application or tap on something and complete a task very quickly, very easily. And this is a nice mix of things like widgets, but also combined right in your main screen with other applications. This is sort of what Android does. This is very similar to like the notes being placed on the home screen of the iOS 13 concept that we just watched a few minutes ago. But I like the way this looks. It doesn't look too busy. It doesn't look too like blank because right now the iOS home screen is is relatively bland, like you just have applications. I think we need something else here. This does a good job. I really like the feng shui and the balance here. And there's also just some really cool and useful widgets. Now I'm saying that now, I don't know if I would actually be using these all the time, but based on this image right here, I'm sold on the idea. I like how the widgets look. It also says that the widgets are interactive and you can store things, this is cool, in the dock. Apple is trying to make the iPad a computer replacement. And I think easy access to files, that's one of the biggest places that the iPad falls short. It's really hard to get to a lot of your files. And if you want this to be adopted by pro users, you need to make everything really accessible and, and also really easy to use. So I like how you could actually store files here and have easy access to them. This is funny, both of these concepts by two entirely different people do highlight Windows on the iPad. It doesn't show Windows on the iPhone as well like the first concept did, but still this, this is a good idea. I also like the take on this. You could have Microsoft Word, Safari, and a stopwatch open at the same time. And this concept next goes to, well, if you have a lot of windows, you need a really easy way to manage your windows like you do on the Mac or on Windows as well. So how do you do this? By bringing mission control to the iPad. And you can adjust where your windows go. It looks like you can have multiple desktops open just like you can on Mac OS. A really good idea. The 
Sightings app doesn't need an upgrade by any means. I think it's in a really good spot. It's very easy to use. A lot of people understand it, and it's got a very simple and plain design. But it definitely feels more iOS 7 to me than iOS 11 or iOS 12, and I like the take here. And of course, you've got one very, very important feature down here, dark mode. It feels like at this point, if you don't have an iOS concept with dark mode in it, it's incomplete somehow, which is strange, and it doesn't have to be that way, but it just goes to show you once again how bad people want to see this feature. What I do want to see, though, is reminders. There's some detail here about the new reminders app. It says more than just text. The new reminders app brings support for notes, images, links, locations, files, and more. Some examples of what you could do with the new reminders app, and we get a look at it on the iPad. Next up is a weather app on iPad. This is something that's it's a no-brainer. Any device should have a built-in weather app. I, I think that's fair, right? But Apple is still holding back with the weather app on the iPad. Maybe 2018 is the year, maybe 2025 is the year. We don't know. Both Jacob and Jackson did a really great job with their concepts, and I'm so excited to see what other designers can come up with over the next 365 days as well. It's crazy that in a year from now, we'll be in the iOS 13 beta, but we have no idea really how it's going to look, how it's going to work, or how big of a redesign it's going to be. But if it looks anything like these two concepts, I'm going to be really happy. As always, let me know your thoughts down below. Do you like these concepts? Is this what you want iOS 13 to look like? Like, drop a like if you enjoyed it, subscribe for more iOS videos in the future, and for now I've been Sam. I hope all of you are doing great, and I'll talk to you in my next video.